Welcome to News Making Headlines on May 23rd. With elections just a little over a month hence, politicians are beginning to campaign on the streets and even on Facebook and Twitter, like there's no tomorrow. Still, look at newspaper front page headlines today and you get the feeling that both the Democrat Party and Pua Thai are trading carefully on how they go about trying to woo voters or undermine their rivals because they've learned past lessons that their party can become history if they resort to some rather unsavory or underhand dealings. Komchat Luk's main headline screams, Red leader in fear, reigning in red shirts to stop harassment. Election Commission points out, as long as there's no physical assault, they are not wrong. Now, what happened is that some red shirt leaders appeared at PM opposite Vechachiwa's election rally, holding up placards with messages such as, What about 93 bodies? Or get out. Nutterwood fears the Democrats will file a complaint to find fault with the poor Thai later, so he ordered late leader Thi Da to rein them in. Matichon's main headlines shout, Opposite scared wants party men to brace for unconventional games. Well, the unconventional tactics probably refer to throwing of smelly objects or eggs and such by rival parties. Thai Post's main headlines also shout, Afraid of sympathy sentiment, Chuan suggests his party stop attacking Thaksin. Now, that's a good advice because it's obvious Thaksin is trying hard to sway voters by trying to gain public sympathy. He's in effect begging them to help bring him home. Also, Chun has seen Jing La cry not only once but twice, losing not only her femininity but tears to gain voter sympathies. So you can bet the Democrats are mighty uncomfortable. Chun, in fact, told his party men to counter the Thaksin move by telling their constituents that no one has banned Thaksin from returning to his home soil. He can come back any time, but he must bow to the justice system. The Democrats also have prioritized policies in the crosshairs, including the move to give high school students tablets, computers. The Democrat Party says this policy is not worth taxpayer money because tablets are expensive. But Pua Thai has hit back, saying the Democrats have no vision. Chuan made headlines in Thai Rat 2. It says Chuan stirs up party fighting spirit tells party men to fight against hooligans. Chuan said the Democrats will have to go to such constituencies as Lampun and Lampang, where eggs were flung at him. He said he heard his attack attacker was sent to jail. Well, every good leader knows it's important to boost the morale and fighting spirit of his men. And of course, all newspapers feature news that Ying Lang is tipped by opinion polls to be the front runner to take the country's top job, while Democrat Party leaders' opposite approval rating is on the decline. Like the nation newspaper, Hu Khan made this story its main headline, said, stating, Poll indicates Ying Lak's leadership rating skyrockets, plus Pua Thai takes the lead in party list. According to the opinion survey, Pua Thai leads the Democrats by about 5%, but this is just the end of the first week of campaigning, and we have over a month to go. The Democrats appear to be the underdog right now, and it's left to be seen if the party can rectify the situation, or they'll find themselves sitting in the opposition. A tirad picture, meanwhile, shows three rather handsome Democrats hand-in-hand hand trying to attract votes from the youth at Siam Square. The caption says, Democrat fans almost clashed with the yellow shirts who were holding no vote placards. Now, away from politics, and Mati Chon's headline will brighten millions of hearts. It says, Father will walk in two months. Her Royal Highness Princess Jula Pon says His Majesty the King has been feeling much better after the latest operation. He told her he would show her that he can walk again in two months. She said the King appreciates the kindness of Thais who visited him and that he saw every single gift presented to him. Another heartwarming piece of royal news comes from Bhutan. 
is young King Jigmi Kesa will wed in October. Matichon's headline says, Putati is pleased by wedding news. The bride to be's teacher says, The king's fiancé, Jetsun Bema, is a highly competent student. With his charismatic, with his charismatic, humble, and down to earth personality, King Jigmi gained huge popularity in Thailand when he visited the kingdom along with other global leaders and royalty to celebrate the Thai king's 60th anniversary on the throne in June 2008. That's all, folks. Catch you tomorrow.